it's a big moment here in Buenos Aires because the 208 is going to sell now. What can you tell about the 208 in Europe? In Europe, the car is now has one year of sales in all the countries, and it has been at the first rank of its segment the last five months. And we have just launched the 208XY and the 208GTI that you have here on the booth, and which have excellent results from the press, but also for the, from the customers. We know that Peugeot here in Argentina is in very good shape. Uh, what can you tell you about, about Peugeot and the PCA, PSA, Peugeot Citroën, in Europe? Uh, worldwide, we've got a very balanced situation with a difficult European market, but excellent uh, result abroad, like uh, Argentina, you mentioned, but also China, Algeria, countries where, where we've got a growth which is very faster than the market. But in Europe, the situation is still sluggish with a very difficult market and aggressive situation. We are um, targeting to maintain our market share thanks to the new launches and we also have decided to restructure our industrial footprint to be able to lower our production cost and being more profitable and so the plans are ongoing and we manage to uh, share these two different situations, restructuring in Europe and being very offensive abroad like in Argentina. Can we expect the same models that you you build in Europe here in the Mercosur or Latin America? Yes, for sure. This is one of my main target. Uh, we made a mistake in the past to have too long time between the launch in Europe and in, uh, in uh, Argentina and I will do my best to uh, shorten that delay uh, because uh, I think to have an efficient uh, launch like two weight you've got to have a, a not too long time between two launches and I've been in, uh, in China uh, in my previous job and I've also experienced the importance of having synchronized launches so I will do everything to have a good synchronization between Argentina and the rest of the world. And the 408 is an example of partnership between China and Latin America, right? It's about uh, looking at our customer needs. This kind of car doesn't correspond to European customer needs. But when you look at China, Russia, and when you look at uh, South America, it's a kind of big sedan, not too big, good size, which is affordable. This is the reason why we ask our design and R&D teams in Latin America, in uh, China, to work on that project, and now which is a non-European but worldwide project, so a good success. And not only in cars, because now we are launching the bicycles and scooters, Peugeot, right? We've got a chance of being the only brand in the world uh, who is able to sell bicycles, scooters and cars, which is really important because we see that in big cities, uh, the situation for cars uh, because of traffic jam is become more and more difficult. But we can propose to our customer different solutions for their mobility and so we will invest more and more and we'll have the chance in 2013 to sell the Peugeot bicycles in Argentina and working on the project of having uh, the scooters also.